I'm gonna do a fantasy draft in franchise mode that includes all the MLB legends in the game. And then I'm gonna simulate one season to see which team wins the World Series. And after the simulation, I will be building that World Series winner in Diamond Dynasty. So let's get this fantasy draft started. The first overall pick is Johnny Bench to the Oakland Athletics. And with all of these legends, the number two pick was Bryce Harper to the Reds. In this roster with all the legends, there's also different versions of certain players. So this version of Bryce Harper is actually his 2015 MVP season. There's also some different versions of legends, like there's multiple Ken Griffey Juniors. There's multiple versions of these players in Diamond Dynasty. Why not for this franchise mode? But continuing with the first round, Hank Aaron goes to the Royals, Lou Gehrig to the Brewers, Mickey Mantle to the Phillies, Willie Mays to the White Sox. Babe Ruth is going to Miami. Dude, Frank Thomas to the Rockies. He's gotta have a 60 home run season. But yeah, very interesting first round. Let's go look at some of these full rosters. So the Orioles have prime Ken Griffey Jr. They have Corey Seager on here. The Red Sox have Joe Morgan, Andrew McCutcheon, Phil Necro, Miguel Cabrera. Brera. Oh, God. Shohei Otani's on the Yankees. Oh, and Rafael Devers is on the Yankees, too. This feels weird. Okay, interesting roster here for the Rays. What do we got? Blue Jays. Oh, the Blue Jays have Murakami and Satchel Paige and Raleigh. Oh, dude, I'm liking the Blue Jays roster. White Sox, Willie Mays, Sean Green, Don Mattingly. Okay, okay. The Guardians, George Brett, Killebrew, Hank Thompson, Johnny Damon. All right, definitely not my favorite roster. Rube Foster, Larry Walker, Giambi. Okay, these are solid teams. I haven't seen one that I would say is like by far and away the best yet. Burt Bly 11 on the Twins. Big shot there. Gary Carter, another Eddie Murray card. Oh, yo, look at the Astros, man. Garrett Cole, Mark McGuire, Tom Seaver, Bryce Harper, Jordan is back here, and Babe Ruth. The Astros might be the team to beat so far. The Angels have Clemente, Robin Yount, Mike Mussina, Jazz, Juan Soto. I think Oakland could be sneaky good with Johnny Bench, Vlad, David Ortiz, a pretty decent pitching staff. Oh, wow. The Mariners have Chipper and Mariano and Jackie and Nolan Ryan. Okay. Ernie Banks leads the Rangers. We've got Jim Edmonds, Todd Helton on the Braves. Reggie Jackson, the other Babe Ruth over here on the Marlins. Oh my God, what is this? Derek Jeter on the Mets. Hey, Yankees fans, you got Otani. You can't be that upset about this. Dude, just off the top, I don't know. I may like the Mets. Derek Jeter, Pedro Trout, David Wright. This team's nice. Ooh, but the Phillies, Randy, Mickey Mantle, Sammy Sosa. Ooh, the Nationals have Ricky, Cal, Longoria, Paul Canerco, Soriano. The Cubs have Cepeda, Jenkins, Sutton, Dawson. The Bryce Harper card is on the Reds with Mike Schmidt, Cy Young, Christy Mathewson, Lou Gehrig, Nolan Ryan, Mookie on the Brewers. Jimmy Fox, Walter Johnson, another Willie Mays over here on the Pirates. Luis Gonzalez, Gary Sheffield on the Cardinals. Stan the Man on the D-backs. Bob Gibson on the Rockies. Ooh, Bob, it's going to be rough pitching in Coors. Dodgers have Barry Larkin, Ryan Howard, Aaron Judge, and Jacob deGrom on the San Diego Padres. And finally, the Giants have Edgar Martinez, Mike Piazza. Okay, so let's get this simulation started. All right, we're two months through the season. We have the Angels at the top of the AOS, the White Sox at the top of the Central, and the Red Sox at the top of the East. Oh my God, the Yankees are 16 and 42. What is going wrong in New York? Shohei Otani has a five ERA. Shane McClanahan, 475. It looks like it's the pitching that's ruining the Yankees right now. Over on the National League side, we have the Giants at the top of the West, the Cardinals with a nice lead in the Central, and the Mets at the top of the East. Let's get to the All-Star break. All right, we've made it to the All-Star break. Let's see who's in the home run derby. We knew Frank Thomas was gonna have a big year in Coors. 35 home runs at the All-Star break. Mike Trout with the Mets, Stan the Man, Willie Mays, Lou Gehrig, Ken Griffey Jr., Hank Aaron and Vinny Castilla. I simulated the first two rounds. We've got Hank Aaron versus Frank Thomas in the final. Only five home runs so far for Hank Aaron. He's going to need a lot if he wants to beat Frank Thomas in the season that Frank is putting up. I think Frank has to be the favorite right now. He does not have his bonus yet. He only has one homer over 440, and he just swung and missed. All right. 30 seconds remain. Is he going to get bonus time? He was close. Five seconds. He does not have bonus time. 
And that's it for his round 15 homers. Frank needs 16 to win. Oh yeah, he's going oppo right away. Yeah, okay, man. Frank has this in the bag. Oh my God, Frank. He may hit every one of these out. Frank's kind of slowed down a little bit, man. He's got five right now. And as soon as I say that, he hits a bomb. Okay, yeah, Frank's back. He just needed a minute. Yeah, I think he's gonna get this. He only needs six more. He still does not have bonus time though. He's hitting the ball to center field a lot. He's just getting that carry, man. Oh, yeah. Okay. He only needs two more with 40 seconds. Frank should have this. That's number 15. And here we go. One more for Frank Thomas. And he does it. Frank Thomas is your home run derby champion. On to the all-star game. The AL pitching staff has Sandy, Tom Seaver, Greg Maddox, Mark Pryor. Over on the NL, you have Walter Johnson, Brett Saberhagen, Catfish Hunter, Verlander. This is the AL all-star team. Paul Molitor, Joe Morgan, Hank Aaron, Willie Mays, Griffey, Vlad Perez, Joe Torre, and Jimmy Rollins. Even though the NL one is blurred out, you got Ricky, Craig, Stan, Trout, Frank Thomas, Bryce Harper, Piazza, Cal, J Ram. Let's see who wins the All Star game. The AL strikes first with a sack fly from Perez, but then the NL answers right back. Oh, three run home run from Stan the Man. Okay, the AL got one back, and then the NL put up another three spot. Oh my God. The NL is going crazy on the AL. A 7 2 lead going into the last couple innings. That's probably going to be enough to win it. And there it is. Stan the Man of the D backs, All Star game MVP. I wonder if any trades are going to happen around the deadline right here here we go jason giambi traded to the yankees raleigh fingers traded to the orioles tom hankey traded to the red sox okay mike napoli to the dodgers whitey ford to the rangers for mickey moniac and that looks like all the major trades that have happened okay all right we have one month left of the season let's take a look at the standings the angels really lost their division lead by a lot the a's are now in front the white Sox have a commanding lead over the al central and the Yankees are still at the bottom with 86 losses going into the last month of the season. We got a dogfight at the top, though. The Padres are winning the NL West by a half a game. The Pirates are at the top of the NL Central. And the Mets have really fallen off, man. They're four games out. The Phillies are in first. Still a lot can happen in the wild card for the AL. And then, yeah, a lot going on in the wild card for the NL. This pennant race should be good. Let's see which teams are gonna make the postseason. All right, the season is over. Let's take a look at the standings. The Red Sox win the AL East by one game. The Orioles and Rays still make the wild card. The White Sox ran away with the Central and the A's beat out the Astros for the division, but they had the same record. Did they not go to 163 or was it a tiebreaker or what? I... Hey. Go A's, man. In the National League, the Phillies beat the Mets by one game. The Mets didn't make the postseason. In the Central, the Pirates won with the Cardinals getting a wild card spot, and three teams made it from the NL West. The Padres, the Rockies, and the Giants. Before we get into the postseason, let's see who took home the awards. MVP went to Prime Griffey of the Orioles in the American League and Mike Trout of the Mets in the National League. Cy Young is Bob Gibson in the NL. This guy won the Cy Young while pitching at Coors, yeah, he's the GOAT. And Phil Necro wins it in the AL. Bryce Harper wins the batting title with Mike Trout winning it in the National League. Reliever of the year, you have Classe and David Bednar. Rookie of the year, Roki from the Rangers and Lee Lin from the Rockies. All right, with all that being said, let's see how this postseason turns out. So after the wild card round, Tampa Bay beats out Baltimore. They will face the White Sox. Houston beat out Oakland in the wild card round. They're going to take on Boston. In the NL, the Giants beat the Rockies. They're on to the NLDS. And the Phillies beat the Cardinals to face the Pirates in the NLDS. We're into the championship series. The White Sox versus the Astros and then the Pirates and the Padres, which means we have a World Series matchup of the White Sox and the Padres. Just to refresh your guys' memory on some of these rosters, the White Sox have Prime Willie Mays, Sean Green, Don Mattingly, Jimmy Rollins, Paul Molitor, a pretty good team. While the Padres have Aaron Judge, 
young Ken Griffey Jr., Eddie Matthews, Jason Bay, Vita Blue. This is not the team that I would consider the favorite going into this season, but they made the World Series. So now it's time to find out which team wins the World Series and which team I'll be using in a Diamond Dynasty game. So in game one, the Padres win six to one on the road and they do the same thing in game two, a 12 to nine victory that went to extras. Ooh, but the White Sox answer back with game three in Chicago, but the Padres bring it right back with a game four victory and they are one win away from a championship. Let's see if the Padres are gonna close this out. Out. The Padres strike first with two runs in the bottom of the second. As we continue going, they get another run in the bottom of the third, another in the fourth. Oh my God, the Padres might do this. They're up six to nothing. If the White Sox don't get anything going now, it's it's gonna be game over. They get one in the eighth and Jacob deGrom is gonna go for a CG to win the World Series. Lead off guy on. I don't know, I think you gotta pull deGrom here. The White Sox are threatening a little bit in the ninth here. That's a big swing from Don Mattingly. Oh my God, dude, the White Sox are actually making a push here in the ninth inning. It's six to two. The White Sox are making this interesting with runners on the corners, one out, trying to stay alive for their World Series hopes. A three, two pitch from Nen. It's ball four, they've loaded the bases. Bro, it is a full count on Nick Fortes right now. No way, no way. No way, bro. I thought he did it. It all comes down to Whit Merrifield. He's the tying run with two outs in the ninth. Rob Nen has him 0-2. And that's it. The Padres are your World Series champions in a league full of legends, full of some of the best individual player seasons of all time, the San Diego Padres led by 99 Aaron Judge, secures a World Series victory. Ken Griffey Jr. is a World Series champion. Aaron Judge is a World Series champion. Now the real question is who wins World Series MVP on this squad? World Series MVP is Jason Bay with four homers and 11 RBIs in the World Series. Okay, so I will be recreating this San Diego Padres roster to the best of my ability in Diamond Dynasty. It's not gonna be perfect, but I'm gonna try my best to make it work. So I've recreated this Padres squad in Diamond Dynasty to the best of my ability with these season four restrictions. And the offense actually looks pretty good. The rotation is all right and uh, the bullpen's rough. I'm gonna just be straight up with you. So I need Jacob DeGrom to have a really good game. I need him to pitch like it's the last game of the World Series. So this Padres squad is taking on Satchel Paige. I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of hoping that I was gonna be the home team. I had Petco Park selected. I've got the Padres unis on. That would have been nice. But Dansby's gonna get things started with a leadoff home run. What a statement. 387 feet on the first at bat of the game. Oh my God, I didn't know where that was gonna end up. He really just put that right down the middle. Thank goodness for Dansby. Let's go DeGrom, do your thing. One pitch, one out. I'd love to get some quick outs with him since he isn't at full energy coming into this game. Full count, I'm going with a fastball, low and away to Chipper Jones. Nope, that's ball four. Take your huh? What is going on? Easy out. Three, two count, two outs. I really wish this guy would stop taking so many pitches here. I'm going fastball. Got him looking. You're not getting on again like that. Come on, Eddie, let's go. Eddie Matthews, that is a no doubter. It's way gone. Come on, man, two nothing lead for the Padres. <laughs> Travis Darno going oppo off Satchel Page. Bro, this Padres team can hit. No way this guy's gonna quit. It's the third inning. All right, on the road again. Man, I really would have liked to have used Jacob DeGrom more, but we're going with Vita Blue here for game two. Oh yeah, way out in front. I like it, Vita. 2-2 two -two on Stargell. And another strikeout. The changeup's working. Yep. 
That's what happens when you play here, man. You get no carry on those fly balls. All right, one, two, three for Vita. Good start. I need to get some runs off John Donaldson, though. Get up the middle. What? Yeah, that teleported into his glove. Ooh. Oh my, that's, that's a ridiculous pitch. I don't know what to do with that. Jason Bay, the World Series MVP. I would have loved for that to get over the fence. I, I gotta send him. I gotta try to score. I need every opportunity to score I can get against Donaldson at this stadium. One nothing lead for the Padres again. Altuve! Jose Altuve hit this 106.5 off the bat. Three nothing lead against one of the best pitchers in the game. This Padres team is so legit. Oh, and I got Vita Blue getting weak contact like that. Did I say contact? Popped him up. Bro, that was hit so well. That's insane. Altuve technically hit his harder, though. I'm just saying. Come on, Vita. I need to see you battle, Vita. I need that dog right now. What? That went over the corner of the bag? Are you kidding me? We can't be giving hits like that. Come on. There we go. Come on. Double play away. Oh my god. Vita might actually get out of this. Dude, Vita just showed so much grit. That right there is why the Padres won that World Series. Good swing from Eddie, but that's dying here. Uh, the timing was there. The PCI wasn't. Ball four. That's a great at bat with two outs. Bring that pitch count up. Ooh. Come on, man. How are you giving me a swing there? Top five. Donaldson is currently at 63 pitches. I am really trying to get him out of the game, but he's making it tough on me, dude. I really need to score again. I really thought I was gonna have that. I actually felt like I timed that up so well. Uh, how was I late there? I just need Vita to keep going. Vita's done a pretty good job at getting out of some tough jams, but I... Ooh, man, I'm getting anxious right now. Change up, low and inside to a righty. Oh, that's been so reliable for Vita. Six strikeouts. Jason Bay, we're gonna make this play, right? At a boy. The World Series MVP would never let me down. All right, let's go. The bat's got to get hot again. I have one inning where I hit the ball well. And I tried to go for a high slider with Aaron Judge. Why would I do that? Okay, these high sliders are killing me, man. Oh, you got to get out, man. You got to leave the yard. No, why? Why can't you just give me another foot game? Ooh. I hate this stadium with a burning passion. For anybody out there that has taken a break from uh, Diamond Dynasty for the past like two months or so, just a quick uh, PSA, yeah. Facing John Donaldson still sucks. Dansby, you gotta make a tough play. Look at Dansby, dude. Yes. Let's go, Vita. Six innings of one run ball. Facing Donaldson may be tough, but right now he's getting out dueled by the lefty on the other side. I thought that was a 2-2 count. I didn't realize it was full. Is that it? Is Donaldson out? Let's go. He took out Donaldson, and on the first pitch, Travis Darno hits it 110 off the bat for a 432-foot bomb. I can't even tell you how satisfying that swing just felt. Bottom of the eighth, Vida is still at 72 pitches. He is on a really good pace to finish this thing off. Great pitch, low and in Detroit gloss. Easy play for Judge. Okay, okay, we're still fine. Just a missed location, that's all that was. Judge is there, that's off the end of the bat. Beautiful, let's go. Can we get any insurance? It's a great start, that's a double. 
Ball four. Here we go, Judge. Oh for four with you. We've got to do something. When will I be good with an Aaron Judge card, dude? I'm bad with all of them. Oh, these are just two of the worst strikeouts I've ever seen. I just made Rob Nen look like prime Mariano Rivera, dude. What the fuck? Let's go, Vita. We're at 82 pitches. This game is yours. I can't be missing spots right now. Got plenty of time with Posada. Come on, come on. One out away. Weak contact. Fida Blue just threw a complete game. What a win for the Padres. They dominated this entire video. I'm sorry, but Jose Altuve is not player of the game. I will not stand for that. That belongs to Vida Blue. I don't care that it wasn't a complete game shutout. This bullpen was not good. Vida Blue stepped up and threw nine very quality innings. He's player of the game. I'm sorry, Altuve. It's not you. So the Padres really won a World Series in the fantasy draft, and then that team went into Diamond Dynasty and won two ranked season games. This team is one of the all-time greats. <laughs>